look around at the objects in your room and know that one of them is a man. You do not know which one. Perhaps it is the bonsai tree that Uncle Carl gave you for Hanukkah last year, or the old hockey stick in your closet that you haven't touched since middle school. Perhaps he is a single blade of your ceiling fan, or the still-wrapped birthday present from an estranged parent that you won't open but can't bring yourself to throw away. Or perhaps he is time itself, a thought on the wind, the feeling of dread that grows as the seconds tick on. My life after I became a dummy head Mike one morning is an animated deception. Despite its name, it is not an ASMR show. Six girls strut and fret their hour upon the stage, woefully ignorant of the fact that one of their belongings is a man, consistently reincarnated as different objects, but always within arm's reach of our unsuspecting victims. Yuri, Kauri, Panda the Lesbian, Tsurugi, Toto, and Ume, often isolated, but never alone. He sees them when they're sleeping. He knows when they're awake. And he is always poised to watch them use the toilet or dress their friends up like babies. Every confided secret, every clandestine meeting, it is all done under the watching eyes and listening ears of the man. Do you trust your coffee cup? Do you hold your hairbrush dear? He could be anything. He could see everything. And he could like it. Let us begin. There's a man going round taken names and he decides shove your buds into your ear holes and prepare your sensory meridians for an autonomous response this is a dummy head microphone an asmr peripheral that allows a hooked up user to insert rods into its various orifices in hopes of producing pleasant vibrations and tingles along their scalp and upper back this particular one is also a man it's a tale as old as time man meets truck man gets reincarnated as a hero in an rpg as a high school idiot's dummy head microphone the idiot in question is Yuri Asakusa, who, despite her name, is not a lesbian. She has a boyfriend, thank you very much. He is this glorified trading card. This year, Yuri will be the novelty at the town fair. Unfortunately, she will be old soon, but for now, she is the charismatic and youthful leader of the Asmar. She has goals, lips, supplies. She is joined on screen by Panda the Lesbian, who, despite her name, is not a panda. Panda the Lesbian cleans ears and can kill with her sharp-tongued G in Ryu style. Bemoan the lack of men, for surely there are none. Not a single masculine presence to contemplate war crimes in the midst of a gentle G-rated queerbation. Unnoticed and ignored as he was in life, our intrepid hero considers his situation and comes to realize that having been reincarnated as a dummy head microphone might not be so bad after all. Everybody won't be treated all the same. He's a bike seat now. Situation, my mother. Are you having a good time? God was believed to be dead, but... All right, class, please stand up and welcome our new student. This is Ume Tyrannomon, who, despite her name, is not a Digimon. She dresses like a silly girl who only knows how to say boo-hoo. Ume Tyrannomon is fresh off the heels of tragedy, having just bedecked the sidewalk in a fresh layer of smooth bananas. This is a very big problem. Problem. Hip on the nastiest shiz, Ume Tyrannomon is happy to provide a viewer with this completely unedited clip straight from the television. <laughs> I want to go to hell. Are you compliment starved? Feeling old and ugly? Become a bicycle seat. You will be called new, beautiful, mountain. Yes, girls will still fail to acknowledge you as a sentient being, but from time to time they might polish your cracking pleather with their soft butts, and occasionally that is enough. Although she is rizless enough that she fails to seduce even her own bicycle seat, Ume Tyrannomon thinks that she has a chance with Panda the Lesbian and attempts to seduce her by reminding her that she is available and implying that she is romantically interested in a child. The flavor of youth is very bittersweet for an old man. Then the father hen will call his chickens home. Fee fi fo fum, put that man in a bird. After having been reincarnated as the fakest looking chicken this side of Louisville, Kentucky, our hero finds himself dead. But his soul is still attached to the body of the chicken? Like he can get cooked and then he's still. Is he. Uh 
Is there a theologian in the house? For cannibal indirect kiss? Sounds like I'm eating calories. Chickens would be cannibals too if they were smart. After a hearty meal of absolutely nothing, Panda the lesbian enters to find the girl's chicken pregnant. Buck, buck, mommy. Yuri, a devil with no conscience, thoughtlessly offers Panda the lesbian the chance to put cock in her. Nope, we are not making that joke. Not during Wrath Month. There'll be a golden ladder reaching down. When the man Guys, have you ever heard of the multiverse theory? The universe is said to be infinite, and in it there are endless possibilities. So with so many options available to you, why not choose to spend one-sixth of the runtime of your episode on shots of Yuri sleeping? See this pillow? Man, this is going to be on the exam. Behold, the wonders of cell phone capturing the attention of children the world over. Were you talking about what pineapple means when they said pine cone? Da -da. Da dum 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 da da This is Toto Asaksa, who, despite her name, is not in Kansas anymore. Sis, are you awake? Cause you've gotta be asleep for 15% of this episode. I already understood, she says, so I jumped. Panda the lesbian watches with intent as Yuri fulfills her episodic duty and slips into unconsciousness. Welp to the bed. You really do let your guard down. Peacefully dozing and blessedly ignorant, Yuri unknowingly excites the man beneath her by soaking his fabric flesh with the slimes of love. He 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 hoo hoo hoo. Good thing it was through a cell phone. Good night. Will you partake of that last offered cup? Or disappear into the potter's ground? When the man- I have become many things. But how hard it is to be a sucker. This is horrible. Let's play house! Pay no attention to the sentient binky in the middle of the table. This will be a wholesome and innocent activity among children. Toto is the mom. Panda the lesbian is the dad. Won't read into that. Yuri is the dog. Vote, my canine brethren. You have nothing to lose but your leash. And Ume Tyrannomon is the baby. Don't look at me with that sparkling background. Ow. Wow! Regress! Put on a bib! Pick up a rattle! There is also an adult diaper for you. I'll bet on my blast girl pride that this is how you dress to get popular on social media. Toto assures us that there is no reason to worry, that she has been practicing. This distresses the child, who turns to Panda for help. Well, if you imagine that she's a feminine pad, the doggy, yearning for death, Ume is accused of espionage before being soothed and cooed by Toto and Panda the lesbian. Yeah, she likes that. She likes that a bit too much. Isn't a crime being committed here? Don't open that door, Denji. Leave that closed. Thankfully, the resident neighborhood man is here to commiserate. He knows that feel. This is the hell that perverts fall into. Whoever is filthy, let him be filthy still. Listen to the words long written down. When the man- Nope. Nope, no, you are not allowed to be that. Oh, who are you? For those of you who think this is normal, I am paralyzed. This is Sarugi Kanegafuchi, who, despite her name, she is powerful, small-breasted, good at measuring. She is on the side of evil, but she performs her duties with nauseating efficiency. Despite doing nothing wrong, poor Yuri has been called in for discipline. Rumors abound that the Asmar have been involved in suspicious activities. What? No way. That's not right. But there are more pressing matters to attend to. It is time to measure. She's fast. As the Man confirms that Yuri's skirt is shorter than the regulated length. Yuri confirms that this is just a fleeting flash of youth with a fetish that is barely visible. Time for boob. Performing her duties as disciplinarian, Tsurugi Kanegafuchi wraps the thin, flexible, and regularly demarcated man around Yuri's breasts. Larger than average size? That can't possibly be. Only half of all women are that big. He he he. Hoo hoo hoo. Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. One hundred million angels. Uchuno Saisho Tangi de Aru Oreni, Ishkina do Aru Hazuna Nai. Taisets Nanoa, Orega Yimadani Ore de Aru to you Kotodaro. Ishino Aru Himoa Ima, Hyodaina Jiku Kano Izoni Naritsu Aru to you Kotoda. 
Cosmic Gummy Worm. Having been reincarnated as a plank length, man takes us back in time to 7 o'clock p.m. Ah, the good old days. He will not be seen again this episode. Gotcha! This is Yuri's mom, Kauri Asakusa, who, despite her name, is not the dying manic pixie heroine of Your Lie in April. She accepts bribes and drinks Ud Black and goes overboard with the friendly hugs. Kauri Asakusa is a bad teacher. Having confirmed that Tsurugi Kanegafuchi's breasts are small and cute as always, and that she is still in the splendor of her short youth, Kauri Asakusa berates her for doing her job. Job. Keep that fury in check, Tsurugi Kanegafuchi. Don't you know that if you hit someone with a hammer, they die? Come here. I will treasure the wish you bring in those inexplicably beautiful and piercing eyes. Hammer, 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 hammer. The hairs on your arm will stand up at the terror. It's the Dummy Head Mike Halloween special. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo, boo. Man, the comfort that you would normally find in the tingly sensations of Asmar has been replaced by fear. Runner-up in the National 100 Sentences Championship, Panda the Lesbian is here to scare us straight. Our tale of terror takes us trepidatiously to a coin-operated laundromat. Yuri Asakusa, who, despite her name, does not have socks on, sits alone in a cubicle of spin. Behold the horrors of cell phone incessantly telling our heroine to look, 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 as if any self-respecting Zoomer would need the encouragement. Look, screams the black mirror, and Yuri does look, and staring back at her from within the plexiglass touchscreen is her own face! Horror! She gathers her composure and stares into the spin, only to discover an elderly woman being washed? Horror! Boo, boo, boo! Boo, boo, boo! Was it that the old woman had dementia and had mistakenly gotten into the washing machine? No. Multitudes are marching to the big kettle drum. Voices calling, voices crying. Wow, how impressive. A fully decorated room for a girl. Girls' rooms include all my favorite books. Study, metamorphose, pretty cutie, feel like he's candy now. Vor, cannibal, mmm, tasty. This girl is truly an angel. My complexes are showing up. An inspiration to young women the world over, Ume Tyrannomon exercises until she throws up and does her makeup like a clown. And now she is someone who strives to look pretty. We wish her well. Ume casually reveals her plot to kidnap the sister of the person she loves third most in the world. Did I say third most? I meant regular most. My sister's farts smell bad, cries the child. When she eats fish, she makes a mess. She's decisive and opportunistic, a category F human. Yuri is dead. The virgins are all trimming their wicks. Pet, how good it is to be a dog. Except for this one, this dog is sad. Bark, bark. And where did this scandalous dog come from? Man, the beautiful and unwitting Kauri Asakusa has purchased the man to be her canine companion. He is cute, loyal, smart. He knows two minus one. What? He knows the approximate area of lakes and oceans. And the Austrian founder of psychoanalysis who proposed the libido theory. Someone get this man a ticket to Westminster immediately. Give him a pet. Give him a bath. And every day he will bark woof woof with happiness. Unfortunately, he will be castrated soon. No Armageddon. No shalom. No shalom. Hello, old friend. Yuri, Ume, and Panda the Lesbian have joined together on this fine summer's eve to play the King's Game. Joining them in their youthful indiscretions without their knowledge or consent is the man. Ume Tyrannomon is the first to taste power. Very good. Panda the Lesbian is ordered to blow into the ear of the microphone. Oh, to be young. Yuri is up next. Lay your cake before her, peasants. Ah, uh, no cake? Then it is death. Ume Tyrannomon is forced to declare Player to the microphone. Give me a job in your house, please. Six points for being cute. Seven points per fox. Contestant number one, give a passionate kiss into the microphone. She's an idiot, but she's a trooper. A trooper who doesn't mind pressing her lips to an ostensibly inanimate man. Panda the lesbian won't have it, though. She insists that kisses are not for microphones, but are instead exclusively for the person you like, virgin loser. In measured hundred weight and penny pound, when the man 
comes around. Damn, I wish I could read. Panda the lesbian doesn't know what she's doing. She made chocolates, and she is a coward. Don't hide like a girl. Confess your love like a girl, idiot. Yuri, she cries. We know, Panda. Believing herself to have thrown away her shot at happiness, Panda turns to leave, only to be confronted by a man. Did the microphone just speak? That's the opposite of what they usually do. Oh, God! No! No, that's the opposite of what they usually do. You can see me as a guardian spirit. Guardian spirit are the words that I would use, yes. Despite knowing that Yuri has no romantic feelings at all for Panda the Lesbian, the man has decided to play matchmaker on the basis that rejection builds character. Revealing himself to be the origin of everything and the will that possesses gravity, man orders the loving ephemeral maiden to go to Yuri. And when she refuses, she cannot refuse. I am here, the man deposits it's Panda the Lesbian directly in front of her target, and, like tears in rain, he is gone. We will not see him again in this life. Goodbye, dummy head microphone, and thank you. There's a man going round, taking names, and we all wish he weren't. I hope you all enjoyed this glimpse into the stranger end of Japanimation. I wish I could keep this video going by telling you that there's an OVA or a light novel adaptation or a serial box promotion featuring Aru Asa, Dummy Head, Mike Ninate, Ta Ori Kun no Jensei, but there is not. Thankfully, what you have seen described here is, for the moment, the extent of the man's influence upon the world of the living. If you have other strange anime that you would like to see described on this channel, then leave them in the comments below. If not, then don't. A heartfelt thank you to my patrons, many of whom you can see listed here. Additionally, I would like to specifically thank today's lucky patron, Stuart Poole, who has been hanging around at the $1 tier for about four years now. Thank you for your support, and I hope that I can continue to make horrible, wonderful content like this for you to enjoy far into the future. If you would like to join our Discord server, our weekly video game hangouts, our monthly anime club discussions, our Minecraft server, or the legions of folks who have earned my eternal gratitude, you can go to patreon.com slash explanation point to find out how, link in the description. If not, then don't. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, this has been Explanation Point, signing out. And the whirlwind is in the thorn tree. The virgins are all trimming their wicks. The whirlwind is in the thorn tree. It's hard for thee to kick against the pricks. In measured hundred weight and penny pound When the man comes around And I heard something about a pale horse